The cornerstone to getting the most powerful pals, whether it be for battle, harvesting wheat, or zipping around the world, ultimately will come down to how well you can breed your pals. Now, you've probably found breeding very enjoyable, but can be also very frustrating with your pals constantly leaving the bloody farm and going walkabouts. When raids come, they leave, they get distracted, it can take a lot of time to try manage just even one breeding station. Well, I have some pro tips to help you set up a breeding base, which can operate with not just one breeding farm, um, but I mean, as many as you want. I have had up to five going at the same time, which will really speed up the genetic process of trying to combine the parents to get the very best results and traits. And if you're not interested in that, I'll explain how you can lock your pals in so that they don't even leave a breeding station, even when you're under attack during a raid. If you want to learn about how to set up a highly efficient, dedicated breeding facility, where you basically keep your pals in forced captivity where they cannot leave, well then stick around. We're going to go through pretty much the whole thing from location, setting the base up, how to lock your pals in, what you'll need, what kind of pals to use. Try sort of encompass everything with more of a focus on the base building side with some really cool tips. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to a master guide at creating your very own base for breeding. Now we're going to go over some very not so well known techniques and some methods that will keep your powers breeding much more efficiently because they will not be able to leave. That aims to sort of give you everything you kind of need to know one to get started if you're new to breeding or if you're been doing lots of breeding some tips and tricks you probably haven't used or seen yet. So how do I know that this method works very good and that this is a good way to set it up? Well, I use the same method to breed tons and tons of jet regons so I can get him to level five all in one go. The best one I got was the burly body divine dragon legend ferocious. So very nice. Let me know if there's a better setup. I don't see any need to add any more speed when he's already very fast, but do let me know in the comment if you think there's a better setup for jet regon because I'll be interested to get that one going. <laughs> So we'll just start off with the general location of creating a breeding base. You do want somewhere very flat. So the best sort of options for these kind of breeding bases are going to be on these starting islands down here. And also all the way up here are some options for picking the right base. Now with this base, I would have built it closer to the rock face just to eliminate any trees. Um, ideally, you would want a base that has no trees or any kind of obstacles if you can. And to top off the flat surface, you also have the ideal temperatures being in the green zones. And if you just want to copy exactly where I put my base down, it's roughly 340, negative 306 as the coordinates. But uh, you can simply just go from your starting area and zip over to where the closest island is to your right. That's where you'll find a good spot. Build it a little closer to the uh, rock face so you're not touching the trees. If you need to harvest wood, just build a lumber station. The other good thing about having bases out here for breeding is that there's very low powers around. And once you set up a good wall, they won't really bother you or you won't have any issues with pals coming through. It's a raw, very low level and they're not very aggressive. Alternatively, if you want to be very sneaky, you could find any of the uh, enemy camps, any of them. And if you free the pal and then build your pal center in the middle, you will be able to actually take over that camp and its land. Some of them are right in the smack bang of really great locations. So if you just pop up your pal box and then remove it, it will actually delete all their stuff and then you just rebuild it again and that will clear the area out. So it's good to go. Very handy if you do want to take over one of the bases of the enemy encampments. So you've been able to find the location and you think you've got a pretty good spot set up. You'll be able to lay down your center, your pal center, whatever you want to call it. And depending on your settings, uh, say if you have raids on particularly, you will need to build a nice wall around your base. Now, if you don't have these metal structures that you unlock later, just use your stone. Don't use wood. And preferably, you would build this outside the blue circle because that just sort of glitches out the AI a lot more and it makes it much easier to defend I spend most of my time here when I'm doing a proper breeding farm, so I'll be out there taking care of them so they don't disrupt the breeding operation. However, if they do break down the walls, they'll come. A lot of the times, most of your pals will stay within the breeding farm, which does make it a bit more effective as they do get less disturbed. So we found a location and we've built a wall around the place. Now, if you are tight for space and you are trying to do this somewhere else that doesn't have um, a lot of options in terms of space and you just want a couple breeding farms, do utilize a system like this where you put the uh, house and your workbenches and everything on top. Now, ideally, you would have
have a double staircase. I didn't put a double staircase in just so you can get some of the bigger piles up. But uh, you would build this on the edge and you would have all your workbenches and everything you need up here, which your pals can access. That way you just can have as many breeding farms as possible, which is just a good way to utilize your space. You could also technically put a roof on this as well if you'd like. Now coming down to some of the other and very important factors of how we'll set this up. So generally when you have your breeding farm, it's just like this, it's open and makes it very easy for your pals to escape. The breeding farms almost have an invisible barrier that go all the way around. So it makes it very difficult for your pals to escape over these fences. They can do it, but it's quite difficult. I'm going to show you that you can block your pals in using some very early game kind of stuff you can get access to, to my most preferred method, which is using some of the more advanced buildings to really lock your your pals in so we'll go through the setup of what we're going to do just so i can show you exactly a step by step i don't know if you realize but you can build inside your breeding pens now what i like to do is you just can put any kind of bed that you would like inside there try to stick it as close as i can to the uh fence there and to the outside let them build it you can put some food here as well encourage them to stay now they do eat the cake so they eat less food or require less food then you'll have a barrage of different options to sort of block them in now depending what you have available Available. You could use the street lamps if you have access to those, uh, power condenser. You could use anything that is just quite tall. The Statue of Power, you could even use a few of those. You can use nearly any building that's quite tall that has a higher profile because that will prevent your pals having easy access to leave. For an example, like I use the furnace or ice cooler, whatever you want to call it, particularly for when I'm breeding jet regons because I find those are definitely some of the better options to use for him because he's pretty much one of the hardest ones to sort of capture and keep in there I find. It does depend on the PAL. So those are good options but they're more late game so people some of you might not have access to them. But you can use the gate option which is just the wooden gate. That does work but it's not doesn't seem to work as well but it's definitely an option that will help and the reason we put these food things even behind that is that your PALs can still pass food into them. So we're putting the beds in, we're putting some food in and then we're using something to block them in. I also put some food farms very close to the food drop off points just so I know food's going into there, so just a little bit of less maintenance. Now with the food, I do tend to keep some really good cheeseburgers in the food. I've cooked a lot of them, so you will find that um, trying to provide better food you, with your pals will increase their sanity quite nicely. So definitely consider feeding them better food. I will also put little beds around just so other pals don't take these beds from the other pals in order just to help try keep that sanity a bit higher. But you can see here with the beds that they are both asleep on their own individual beds. They've got everything they need. They don't need to leave. It means that they can instantly spawn into here and get that timer going. There's no downtime. Very efficient method building within the breeding factory. Now, obviously, if there's sprains or any kind of medical issues, you will need to heal them. So you will need some kind of workbench to uh, make sure you are using these to keep your pals very healthy. Now, we're going to fix up Blazamut, who's got uh, good sanity right now but he will quickly dive if we don't uh, sort this sprain out very quick so we need to feed him some medicine so we'll give him some medical supplies that's going to fix his sprain obviously you can always put them into your uh, power box for a period of time and rest them up you can also put them to sleep uh, force them on to sleep or into a bed that can also heal some of the lower effects uh, also make them happier sanity is quite an important aspect to breeding so ensuring that they're well fed got good sleep not disturbing that can kind of keep them very solid for a very long time and let them keep popping out eggs the other thing when you're building things like this is because you have these extra bits and pieces in front of the breeding farm it can be a little annoying to try to assign them to the farm so just some tips with that you want to go to the side you want to come to the side here and throw them at one of these side posts that will help the other technique is running under the thing and throwing them at the fence and that will make it an easier assign so let's grab uh, one of these guys if we can they uh, glitch out in these corners because the ai is not very good just realized i was trying to grab my own jet rig on but yeah if you do grab it just again throw it towards the post if it doesn't work you just need to go more over to the side just 
just as an example again, assigned. So that's an important thing to do because it can, if you don't do that, you'll have a lot of problems with them just going to the beds. So important to set it up like that. Now, when you're building your farms, you should know is that you can place your breeding farms over the boundary. It will still work and they will still breed. Other things that can make this a lot quicker is just keeping your cake or where you create your cakes right next to your box. So easy to transfer, but a ton of cakes in here. Do keep in mind, keep your cakes in the breeding farm box because the time limit never goes down. They will stay there. So do not keep them in the fridge, keep them in the breeding farm box. Now this is on normal difficulty, but I have turned on to instant uh, hatch eggs because I do not have the time to wait for thousands upon thousands of eggs. So however you set that up, just be mindful if you are playing on the long time frames, just you need to build a ton of these uh, egg uh, hatching facility things that will speed things up for you. So you can have a ton going at the same time, depending on the egg that you're trying to hatch and what settings you're on. You may need to use fire to heat it up or that ice block or ice ice cube thing to cool them down. So just keep that in mind. You may need those two other things just to get the egg to incubate and hatch normally. I've turned that off so I can just hatch them quickly. So some other good things to know. So we've got two guys in here. They're both working, creating eggs. Generally, only time this will really reset and they escape is on the odd occasion. They can just randomly escape or on completely leaving the game, saving and leaving the game. And then you're in the main menu and you come back. A lot of the pals will spawn in the middle here. You can see here when you spawn in, they're all everywhere. Now, if you get lucky, they will go back to the breeding pen, just like this guy has here, but the other one hasn't. It's very hit and miss. Sometimes they will spawn inside the breeding pens. Sometimes they won't. So do note, every time you load in, you probably will have to sort of fix your breeding pens. And that goes with any kind of technique you use. You would have to assign them back to the breeding pens. So that's really the only time they'll come out. So a really good thing that can happen is actually when they do escape like this. So you know how they're saying that they're working? When this happens, it basically forces them to try get back in, but they can't get back in. But they don't ever get distracted. They'll just keep trying to get back in pretty much forever until a, maybe a possible raid or when you load and save in. So if they are outside, don't, don't ever worry. Don't try and move them back in. Just let them go. They will just keep trying to get in and the egg timer will still keep going it won't make any difference if they're inside and out as long as they have the working above their head you'll have no worries we'll probably get raided sometime soon and i'll show you even when there's a raid they won't be able to leave that allows us to go out and sort out any raids if you are, are able to otherwise head set it up to have the powers that do that don't have anything to do with breeding they'll be able to come and help you okay going back to how you set this up so we've got our two beds we've got our food now for this one we can just use something that's low level so let's just look at the tech tree here we go level four so the hanging traps are a great option you can get those at level four hanging traps you just sort of want to build three of them spread them apart and that should lock them in definitely a great option uh you can sort of turn and face them in different ways too to try and increase that chance but that's how i set up my breeding farms i try to basically force them into captivity so they can't leave one thing i have kind of noticed if you do leave your eggs like out like this for if it gets to like a completely full nest of them they do tend to lose interest in breeding so it's good to harvest the eggs and uh, take them more often than not basically they're getting everything they need we've got the cakes and that can just keep pumping now if you're really interested in doing lots of breeding you should turn raiding off and that, that way you can leave it overnight and just have hundreds of eggs or lots of eggs when you wake up because they will pretty much be self-sufficient this whole system just keeps on working they get fed everyone kind of stays quite sane because it's not too much uh work not doing the factory kind of work so it all kind of balances is out very very nicely and it can self-sustain itself very easily okay so we have our two guys here they uh we just spawned in we just loaded in so they're spawned outside but they are actually still in the working state so the timer and the egg will keep going we'll just quickly fast forward to when the egg is completely here just to let you guys see this how it works and then hopefully we get rated and i'll show you what that looks like too okay and here comes the egg and there we go breeding with a trap on a farm there's no escape they will keep going now I'll just show you the raid and what that's like. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please like, subscribe. Really helps. Peace out.